In this video, we're gonna be upgrading the emblem on our Fortune Ram 1500 from this ugly, boring emblem to this. So here is how it looks. Looks just like a nice gloss black emblem. Check that out, you guys. Like, this is even during the daytime. That thing glows like crazy. It's so bright. All right, guys, so welcome to the video. In this video, I want to do something to my daily driver Fortune Ram 1500. This is my Eco Diesel. We plastidipped these emblems probably four years ago, and it has held up great, but now it is looking tired. So it started peeling. Some of the chrome is starting to show itself. So I was looking for emblem options. I was going to get just a painted gloss black emblem, be done with it. But then I found this, you guys. So I do have more than one Fortune. This is our Hellcat swapped rim 1500 single cab. It's not gonna go on this one though. I wanna try this out on my daily. So what we have here is this factory looking front emblem, but you'll notice the two wires are running out the back of it. So what this does, it looks completely gloss black and stock as you can see here. But when you apply 12 volts to these two power wires, this thing completely transforms the ram head glows white and the perimeter stays black so this is gonna look super trick i'm really excited to get it installed so let's go ahead and get straight into it we're gonna pop the hood take off the front grill i'll show you guys a real quick way of doing that but i do have dedicated videos for you guys on how to get the grill out but let's get right into it and get this thing on here so regardless of what engine you have in your fourth gen you're gonna have this plastic shield here and it's held in by a bunch of christmas tree clips here so you're just gonna pop this up because we're gonna have to get to the bolts that are underneath this grill here so you can pretty much just use your hands like you're watching me do right here. Or if you want to use any clip tool, but you really don't need to. So <laughs> you're going to pull on this, get this all removed. We got one more right here. And then we can just set this a little bit further back out of our way. Then we're going to reveal four 10 mil bolts. One, two, three, four and we'll pop off our grill. So I have a specific video on this, but the best way is once you get these four bolts out here, stick your hand down in here and press out from the bottom. There's a bunch of clips from the bottom. You're gonna wanna relieve them out this way, and then the whole grill will just come out. Up above here, I'll link the video that really goes into depth on that, but I'm gonna pop the grill off and you can watch me do it here. Four bolts are removed. I'm gonna stick my hand in through the grill. We're gonna press out. Open it like a door. Same thing, and then our grill is off. Okay, so we've got our grill up on the bench here. We've got something protecting it on the bottom from getting scratched. And uh, this is oddly enough gonna be the hardest part of this job is getting this off. And I'm not saying it's a hard job, but this is literally gonna be the most difficult part. So you'll notice these openings here. Use this to push the emblem out. And then you have to release this tab, this, this, and that one. So kind of just work it through. And uh, I'll show you guys me doing that here. So here you go. I got this screwdriver kind of holding that end up. And then I'm working this side of it. You're gonna hear the double-sided tape releasing. And there we go. So it popped out the back. I'll show you guys the double-sided tape. So there's the big piece of my mistake. There's actually just one massive piece of double-sided tape in the middle. There's the four clips. Nothing's broken if you ever wanna put your original one back on. And uh, now we can move on to the fun stuff. Okay, so you're gonna notice there's obviously a wire that has to come out of this new emblem and you can't really pass it through any of this. There is, however, this large circle here and we also have to pass through our entire harness here and it has this rather large box on it. So you can see there, we pretty much have to take out this exact circle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a step drill bit. I'll link one down in the description below for you guys, but I'm gonna use a step drill bit. It's gonna make a nice clean straight hole through here. That way we can get our wiring through. It'll be directly in the center and uh, we'll be good to go. So I'm just gonna use a regular drill bit just to drill at the center before I transition into using the step bit. So there's that. Reason why I wanted to do that is because there was a nub sitting out of there and I didn't want the step bit to walk all over because this is gonna be a better drill bit. And then now we'll move into the step bit. There we go with our step bit. You don't have to worry too much because this is all gonna get covered by your emblem, so. Oh, 
Lots of plastic. Okay, so we'll see if that is a large enough hole. I might have to go with a slightly larger step bit. We'll find out in a second here. So I'll link the exact size I use. I've got a few of these things, different sizes, just depending on the application I'm doing. But they're not much to buy. Alright, so I'm going to go to the other side, flip it over, and then we'll get that nice clean cut on the other side. So we've got a nice clean hole. If you want, you can use a deburring tool, which I'm going to do here. Got one of these deburring tools, we'll run it around, make a couple passes, make this hole super official looking. There we go. So we got this nice clean hole. Easily pass our wire through. Put this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finalize it. We'll put the entire wire through. I'll clean this surface up. And then this has just a ton of double-sided tape. And that will allow us to get our emblem perfectly in here. And the fit is perfect, you guys. It looks, you know, as good, if not better, than the factory one. There's no weird gaps around this thing. Okay, so my surface is all clean. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this backing off of here. Put it off to the side. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna press this down. Make sure it's all good. And now we can bring our grill back over the truck, we'll run our wire over to the fuse box and get this thing wired in. And also just to keep our wire out of harm's way, what I did do is I routed the wire here, tucked it under the corner of here so that it stays flat to the grill. And then I went through this portion of the grill, put a tie wrap around there, and then same thing through there, put a tie wrap around there. That way it stays out of our clips on the bottom. It stays out from, you know, hanging in front of our grill. And also it'll stay out of our active grill shutters as well. And it'll bring it over to our driver's side. I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna go to the headlight or the fuse box, we'll figure that in a minute. It really depends how you wanna wire it, which we'll talk about in a second here. Okay, so we've got the grill over by the truck. So I'm gonna pop this back on here and show you guys where I'm running my wire. All right, so here's where you gotta decide how you want this light to illuminate. Me personally, I want it to come on when my running lights are on. And um, I mean, but you guys can do whatever you wish. You could put this on a switch. You could tap it into whenever the vehicle's on the emblem turns on however you please um, but like I said I'm gonna tap it into my running light wire it's gonna be white with brown so on this connector here it's this bottom corner here kind of in the square section here white with brown but I don't want to do it right here because this is gonna get absolutely beaten by rain and everything so what I actually did was this wire I traced it back if you pop out the fuse box there's four clips that hold the fuse box down and then you can just slide it up and you don't really have to remove anything, but you kind of just move your fuse box out of the way a little bit. This large connector, which is hiding underneath the fuse box, white with brown is right here in the middle. So here's a lot of your headlight wiring and whatnot. Comes back to here. So I am going to tap into the white with brown here. And then this ground that goes right here, I'm going to actually put my ground here. All right, so here's under our fuse box. So we went and wiretapped into the white with brown right there with our positive and then our negative. We installed it to the factory ground right here and everything's tucked away so we can put our fuse box back in place. Then we've got it tie wrapped here. Here is our disconnect for whenever we've removed the grill. We can disconnect it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my fuse box back in place, put the shield back in and then uh, we can see how this thing finally looks. All right, so here is how it looks looks just like a nice gloss black emblem let's hit those lights so at nighttime the auto headlight function would work but let's go ahead and turn on our running lights check that out you guys like this is even during the daytime that thing glows like crazy it's so bright so you could even run around with this at during the day if you really wanted to it looks super cool, like check that out. So comment down below what you guys think. I'm pretty happy with this, honestly. Like it is pure daylight out, you guys. And that ram head is just glowing. Check that thing out. Super, super cool. 
All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Super excited with the outcome of this. So I'll link down in the description below where you guys can pick up yours today. So check out that link down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget, you guys can improve your lighting. Head over to shopboosted.com. I'll also link that for you guys down below. Get yourself these 55 watt HIDs for your headlights. It will improve your lighting drastically. It's air free, it works on these trucks, it'll work for any car, truck, a newer one, it won't throw the bulb out indication on your dash. So go ahead over there, get yourself some goodies for your vehicle. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video.